Hello friends, welcome to Linden Lithicum United Methodist Church. I had something else planned for today, but I was going to a funeral, a friend of mine's, my next door neighbor's father's funeral actually, and as I was driving there, I heard on the radio that Queen Elizabeth of England had passed away today. I had lots of thoughts about that. I know that many of you have, as you have thought about her influence and her impact and uh, her longevity, if nothing else. And so I wanted to share just a couple of things about that, about some thoughts that I've had. One of the things that I thought about as I was remembering some of the words of King David, reported in 2 Samuel to have been some of his last words. And here's one of the, a little bit of what he said. It's in uh, 2 Samuel chapter 23. It says, whoever rules rightly over people, whoever rules in the fear of God is like the light of sunrise on a morning with no clouds, like the bright gleam after the rain that brings grass from the ground. Now, of course, I was thinking about that in the context of the Queen and all of the things that she has represented for so many people for so long. She has been dignified and consistent and constant. She has had a powerful sense of duty and history. She has cared for people. She has cared for her responsibilities and never let up on those responsibilities. She has been faithful to her family. So many things that we think about. But she had a role of leadership and lots of people look to her. Whoever rules rightly over people who rules in the fear of God is like the light of sunrise on a morning with no clouds, like the bright gleam after the rain that brings grass from the earth. You know, not all of us are the queen. Nobody else is the queen. Well, when we say the queen, even though there are other queens in the world, who do we think of? Her. But we all have a sphere of influence somewhere and though we may not rule over people, we all influence people somehow. And I'm wondering if there are others in our sphere of influence who would say that we rule or lead or influence with the fear of God, with respect for God, so that we're like the light of sunrise on a morning without clouds, or the bright gleam after the rain that brings grass from the ground. Is there something about the way you lead, God-inspired, that is a blessing to others, as David described King David in some of his very last words? People make a difference. The fact that Elizabeth was the queen was one thing, but the fact that Elizabeth was Elizabeth with her faith and her strength and her courage and her commitment. That was more. Helen Mirren once was asked after she played Queen Elizabeth in a movie, she was once asked, are you a monarchist? And she said, no, but I'm a queenist. She was someone who respected this particular queen. I hope that you will be uh, praying for those who are mourning. You may be one of them. And also praying for now King Charles. He has seen this up close and personal for a very long time, but it's not the same as having that responsibility in himself and he will need people's prayers. And though it's largely a ceremonial role in these days, it's still important and there can be some powerful influence, as Queen Elizabeth said, or showed. So I just ask you, think about the world in which you live. Think about the people that you influence. It could be in your home or your neighborhood or your workplace. Is there something about you that you let God shine through so that you are like a light, the light of sunrise on a day without clouds? 
letting the light of Christ shine through you as a blessing to others. Thanks be to God. Amen.